is Dr. Flight. Hope you're doing well today. It is uh, good to be reaching out to you. This is Roundup for week number nine. And uh, wow, we have a great topic this week. It's new product development and innovation. And so when we look at uh, how we're going to grow and look at the viability of an organization um, and quite frankly, an economic system overall, innovation and the ability to create something new to to satisfy a, a need in the marketplace is absolutely vital. Vital. It is the engine that drives a market-based economy, and uh, quite frankly, it is what investors invest in when they when they look to put money into a company um, and look for returns. The returns are largely based on. Um, what new things a company will do moving forward um, to um, to continue to grow, to continue to satisfy marketplace, and so forth. So, when you think about the engine of the economy, the engine of a of a, of a firm or an organization, if you think about what differentiates organizations one from another, very often comes down to their ability to create something new in the marketplace and innovation as a as a whole. So with that in mind, that's what this week is about. And in marketing, we focus on new products, new product development to help um, to, to help uh, take advantage of or leverage a firm's innovative capabilities. So innovation can be a sustainable <clears throat> competitive advantage. It can be a skill. It can be something that an organization have has. We actually have a measure called innovation orientation where we measure the capacity organizations have for um, innovative thought and newness. Um, and that, again, uh, can be leveraged in their uh, capacity to create something new in the marketplace, which customers would would want. So <clears throat> so that's a lot lot to think about in terms of what what's going on this week um, in, in the text and in the material. Now, the text for the course... Um, doesn't have a separate chapter on products, but it has one chapter, chapter six, which we'll sort of review over the next several weeks uh, for the next several several topics. <clears throat> the chapter itself has little bits and pieces about products and then also pricing and so on and so forth. It's captured in the marketing mix. So we'll look at that, but there'll be other external readings too, um, or as well. So the notes and the videos this week um, walk through the new product development process, but then also the role of innovation just in general, what a new product is, how it's defined, um, and, 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 and some things like that. So, um, so as you look to do this week's work, uh, remember um, we have the project part three coming up here this week, um, and that's uh, a market analysis. So look at the consumers who are going to buy the products. So consumer market, we'll look at consumer profiles and the consumer market that's associated with that. Um, so so consider consider that um, as, as we wrap that portion of the project up, part three, um, for your groups. Uh, also, the discussion forum, of course, this week should be a good discussion on creating new products and this idea that um, you to have a new product, you have to have three fundamental pieces. The technology that uh, is used to, um, to, to, to actually solve the customer's problem, the need in the marketplace, which is the customer's problem, and then finally, the form that will uh, deliver the, the technology that satisfies the customer's need. So there's kind of a three-part piece here. There's a video on this, so be sure to take a look at that. And for the discussion, your job is to take a look at um, this with the sheep shifter technology that's available out there. So... Um, so take a look at that discussion. It should be fun. It should be interesting. It should be creative. You should have uh, creative opportunities here uh, to, to think of new ways to satisfy the market. Using the principles, though, of um, those three pieces that need to go into a product, that's kind of the theory behind uh, successful products. It's one of them, anyways. 
and that would be good to good to look at. Um, we could also look at using innovation and sources for innovation in the Hellman's article, and then all or the Just Mayo article, which is a focus on Just Mayo, which is a company that um, is. Uh, challenged by Hellman's, and Hellman's is challenged by them in terms of their new product creation. Um, and then also tied with that, you can look at the article, um, The New Science of Taste, which deals with um, a flavor house which creates, out of Illinois, which creates flavors for food, for foods. Um, so these are two very short examples of uh, how companies can outsource innovation, but also use innovation as a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Um, and, and then that Shapeshifter article, I think, should be just real short. It's just a new technology that can be used to help create lots of new products. So you can use a technology as a base, and then organizations will often use that technology, then spin off multiple products based on that technology they've created. So that's an example, an example of that. Um, some other ways to form or brainstorm for new products uh, include problem-based ideation, where we look at customers' problems with products, and also other forms of ideation, where we brainstorm using checklists and things of that nature to create new products. Um, and again, there's videos on this material, so... Um, while there's not as much depth in terms of textbook reading, there, there is other ideas out there that are captured in the videos. So there's that. There's that as well. Okay, so dig deep into uh, week nine. It's exciting week. Product innovation and development is super important, obviously, to, again, the engine of our economy. Um, we also have a case coming up, um, but that's not till next week uh, when it's due. So um, it's been on the on the hit list here for a couple weeks. Just uh, uh, the Sun Chip uh, new product list uh, or case is is that that's what it is. Um, if we were to look at our Moodle page, just pulling that up real quick as a quick wrap up to this week. Um, we have, again, product development area. There's a whole lot of short videos, and um, I, I don't always know the best way to do, do the videos, so I try to break them up to be as short and compact, but that means that there might be a lot of them. Um, so some weeks there are more than others, but again, it usually relates to the average length of time for each one of them. So um, the goal here with videos um, is that they should duplicate your face-to-face -face time that you would have in a class. We are required to have a certain amount of contact time, whether you're an online student or face-to-face -face student. And that contact time would typically be face-to-face in-class time periods. And so as a, as a philosophy, I like to have um, videos um, that would duplicate or simulate that that material there. The other thing that I do try to do, as you've noted, I try to have a video, and this is week nine in class lecture video here. I try to capture the video that we do in class just so that you have a frame of reference so you kind of see what the class experience would be like, um, though this is a face-to-face -face experience. So those are there for your uh, resources, just resources for you to be able to um, you know, have success, success in the class. So as always, reach out to me if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Please come by if you're physically around on campus or email or text or, uh, or call or, or whatever. And we can Zoom if we need to. So anyways, I'm always here and looking forward to reaching out to you. All right. Have a great week. Take care.